Okay, so to demonstrate the principles that we've uh, been talking about here, the engineers at pilottraining.ca labs have come up with this amazing C of G O matic display. So, what I want you to notice is first off, we've got a stand and it's holding up the model, right? If you look closely, you can see the stand, the points are holding up this airplane at very close to the spar. So there's the nearest stand point, and then we've got the secondary stand point in behind, and uh, it's a little bit harder to see, I know, from the camera angle, but you can see that that one is at the spar as well. Now, as I look at this particular model, I can see that it's nice and straight. You know, the nose isn't really tipped too far forward, tail is just maybe ever so slightly up. So this particular unit here is really well balanced. Um, the spar would extend from the wingtip here all the way in towards, of course, where the stand is holding it. So this particular model is very well balanced. Now let's imagine that we add a weight to it. So what I'm going to use in this case, it has to be something fairly light, being a nice little model. We're actually going to take a nickel here. You can see a nickel, courtesy of uh, Her Majesty the Queen. I would do the Queen's accent, but I'm not very good at that, and I'd mess it up. Anyways, I digress a little bit here. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take this little nickel here, so for those of you who are flying, uh, say, UAVs or something like that, you can very clearly imagine using this to adjust a, an airplane that has a weight and balances out. For those of you who are flying bigger aircraft, of course, you can imagine this as being like a, a bunch of luggage. So if I took this nickel and I placed it in the baggage compartment, I'm just going to put it on the outside, on the back of the tail, and there you go. So I've got more weight in the back of my aircraft now, so we can very clearly see that the aircraft tilted nose up. So adding something, for those of you who are UAV operators, adding something as small as a nickel can significantly alter your weight and balance. Now, for those who fly bigger aircraft, uh, or even, say, UAVs that are on the size of an actual aircraft. You could imagine this as being a bigger payload like a camera or something like that. So on the opposite side of the scale, of course, if I take the nickel off and then <laughs> let it stop oscillating here as it bounces up and down trying to readjust the new weight and balance, there we go. Remember how I talked about it being like a teeter-totter? Whee! All right, uh, anyways. Somebody over here, somebody over here, bouncing up and down. That's lots of fun. Uh, let's take the nickel, though, and let's put it up on the front. So maybe that's adding something like, say, some extra oil in a real aircraft. But in our case, again, just that weight of a single nickel has significantly altered the weight and balance of this particular model. So as I change the weight shift it around, we can very clearly see that the aircraft will fly either two nose up or two nose down. And that can lead to a lot of problems once we actually try to get this aircraft airborne. I mean, imagine a case where I took too many nickels. Let's say I put a pile of them in the back here, and I made this aircraft so nose up that maybe it just might take off and suddenly just go right straight up and then come crashing back down. That, of course, is a worst case scenario. All right, so there we go. Pilottraining.ca labs, and uh, we should have an able assistant here maybe or something like that, kind of like, you know, Beaker on the Muppets, perhaps.